Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this hack DIY. Today I wanted to show you a way that I've been treating my cuticles on the go. And for that I've been using this Sephora empty sample perfumes that they give you when you go to Sephora. You ask for a perfume, you want to try it out, and they give this um, containers with perfume on them. Basically, when you finish the perfume, you open it up like this, and they are free. So for this, I'm going to be using a napkin, but I'm going to be filling this with olive oil. The usual stuff that I use for cooking. This looks dirty because it is kind of like on the kitchen all the time. But I'm going to be just filling this up until this point. You want to make sure that you have enough space because we're going to be closing this. And when you close it, it kind of like goes up like that. And I close it really well. Clean it if you feel like it. This is why you need to have like a napkin. I really, really seal it. I'm just going to close my olive oil here. Open this. And this has like a spray thingy. So what I've been doing is like applying this oil like this. Being really careful not to make a mess. And then just put my fingers like that. And then just take a bit of oil from here. And then just work my way through all my fingers. It's olive oil. It's really good for you. Good all around for you properties. For a lot of things. Not just for the cuticles. You can buy like cuticle treatments, cuticle oils, cuticle creams that they sell but to be honest I found that olive oil works just as fine and it's less expensive because you most likely already have it in your kitchen so I found that this really helps my fingers to look less dry. So as you can see I'm just massaging it, working my oil into my cuticles and ever since I've been using this kind of oil I really haven't had any issues with dryness around my um well even my hand is softer because then I tend to this like massage it just like any other cream that I use and this has been helping me a lot and the good thing as a plus it smells good because it used to have perfume before I always end up smelling like uh, really good this one had Troy Burge perfume, I think it was. Not too much because, I mean, it's just a scent that is still there. But you're not putting any perfume on your actual hands. This is sealed, it's small, and you can pretty much take it on the go. That's what I do. I just put it on my back. I mean, I try to put it somewhere that I know is going to be like standing on the whole time. It doesn't matter if it goes like this because no oil is going to like drop. But if you're insecure about that, you can always place it inside a Ziploc bag. And whenever I feel like I'm really getting dry, or even my hands, I just grab my handy little thing here. And yeah, that's what I've been doing to just have my hands, like, I don't like this word, but moist. I don't use hand creams anymore because I do have this. And feeling really nice, really healthy, even day glow sometimes. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this one. I really hope I gave you some, like, tips on how you can reuse this kind of, like, bottles. Plus, I think they are really cute and they are real handy because there is a machine that you can use for a lot of uh, things. So if you like this idea or tip or hack, nail care, whatever you call it, give me a thumbs up. It helps out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff and don't forget to share this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you on Wednesday and take care. Bye guys!